In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at hatching, how we can apply lines, patterns, even colours and gradient fills to our drawings very quickly, very easily, and also uh, have something that we can modify, we can edit, we can change to. So we can add corners in, we can do all manner of things with hatching. So let's take a look at our uh, drawing here. We've just got uh, uh, some simple shapes on there. We go in our hatching tools to the hatch set command and this allows us to pick the style of hashing that we want and in the first instance I've selected line style so we have our, our line style so in other words continuous dotted and so on that we can choose from we also have access to things like patterns where you'll have the full range of all the DWG patterns there plus some for, for caddy as well so architectural ones for instance uh, we have colour fills where we can choose by colour pen or we can choose R RGB colour and picking from our colours or more colours or even through to custom where we can select a particular shade or vary the intensity of that uh, hues, uh, red, green and blue values for instance. But here what I'm going to do is just select uh, uh, a simple line style so there's also gradient fills too but here we've got a, a line style uh, we have options in there for our pen colour for the line style as I've said the spacing, so how far apart the lines are, and if we're drawing in here, we're drawing in millimetres, then we can say we want the lines to be 75 millimetres apart, say for instance for brick coursing, and that's the literal size because we are actually drawing one to one. We can also change the angle of the line, so if I put in 45 you'll see the hatch preview will change too. We have the ability to, to zoom in and out on our preview, uh, that doesn't affect the scaling, it just gives us an idea if we've got a, uh, a complicated hatch pattern, uh, more what we're looking at, we can take a closer look at it for instance. We can hatch around text, so if we've got text on our drawing it will actually put a, a hole in the hatch so that we can actually still see the text without it being hidden. We can choose whether we want to, to hatch on the back or the front plane, so for instance do we want to see the lines uh, on, uh, still on top of the hatch, in other words we're putting the hatch on the back plane uh, we will, if we put the hatch on the front plane then we will not see any lines that are there that we maybe use as guides for our hatching we can also auto layer our hatching too so if we want uh, hatches or ingredient fills to be forced onto a particular layer without us having to set it manually that's what we can do here then um, we also have various styles which are pre-configured so if you're wanting to do say gravel hardcore or plain tiles or whatever it happens to be you can pick these literally from the, uh, from the section here it will come into the, the box below press load and that will then alter your settings but here we're just choosing a simple line style and uh, let's look at what we have in the way of options well there's an auto which I'll come on to uh, shortly uh, we have an inside again we'll deal with that one but we'll choose rectangle now rectangle is fairly simple you just pick where you want the top corner or bottom corner to be and then choose the other uh, the other corner diagonally opposite and if I press escape here uh, and then just select the object you'll see that we have uh, hatching and we can pull the corners around, we can move them to wherever we want to be and that, that is our hatch object, we can also move it around as well. We can add corners to our hatching, so add a control point, so we pick the hatching, we pick between uh, the points between which we want to add the corner and then we can snap around, right click, option end and then we have our new control points in there uh, control points which we can uh, then modify. So if we pick it again we can then literally modify our hatch. We have the ability to delete corners too, so we'll see uh, that one there. We can change the origin of our hatching as well. So if we want the origin of our hatch to be a specific point, so if I move it to there you'll see that the hatch lines actually move up. So if we're trying to line everything through course from a particular uh, uh, point or, or set out say ceiling grid tiles or something like that then that's exactly what we can do there. 
we can add islands into our hatching as well. And uh, if we go to uh, in, uh, the island tool, say add manually, pick the hatch that we want to add the island to, then pick around the points that we want. Option end will give us our island there. Okay, so if we pick that, we can see that we then have the island that we can deal with too. Right, we're going to leave it there with this particular uh, uh, exercise, uh, but then if we come back for the second uh, tutorial session we'll see how we can use some of the, the automatic commands to hatch uh, quickly and easily.